But just like Elijah walked through life and everywhere he went, he performed miracles, signs, and wonders. That that's what we're called to do in our town, in our community, especially in these end times. Um, so I want to just kind of go over some of the things. Um, like one of the first things he did was the river was in his way. He was going back from town and the river was on his, in his way. So instead of walking all the way around it, or instead of getting a boat, what he did was he smacked the river and he says, show me the God of uh, Elijah. And the waters parted. So that was just an inconvenience. So he walked on dry land and crossed the river, not renting a boat and not walking around. Or somebody was in debt and he solved their problem. He solved their problem by giving, telling her to take what she had, which was a bottle of oil, and borrow uh, vessels from the neighbors, and then the oil didn't run out. Every time she poured it into a vessel, it refilled. So she was able to sail that and live the rest of her life off of that. So God wants you to prosper, and he wants us to prosper other people. So as he walked through life, he helped people pay their bills. Uh, somebody build a room for him, uh, built a room on the end of their house for him. So free lodging, he raised the dead. Because somebody came to him and asked him. God says that we're to heal the sick, raise the dead. He didn't say, I have to give you permission, special permission, go raise that dead, or go heal that person. It's the dead and the sick. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's a, a famine in the land. And God uh, told the prophet, and the prophet uh, uh, just was going on his everyday life. And uh, the people said, that, look, the, the, our water's poison and there's barrenness in the land. So he solved that problem. Another problem he, another problem that he solved is he healed the leader of the land because he said, let this person come to me that I can show him that there is a prophet in the land. So in these end times, we need to show the world that there are people of God who are walking in the power of God, sons of God who have the power of God on this earth today. And after he got healed, he says, now I know for sure that there is a God. And this is the only God. Okay, and that's what we have to do in the end time. And God said in this end time that <clears throat> we're going to be more powerful and have more power than they did in the beginning when the Holy Spirit came onto earth. Um, it, um, open, he said to God, open his eyes so he can see that there's more with us and more around him. God didn't say, tell me to open his eyes. Elijah decided, I want his eyes open so he can see. So he said, open his eyes. Then when the enemy came into camp, the, Elijah said, close their eyes. So God did what he said. Then when the enemy went out of camp into Sy, Sy, uh, whatever that town was, he, he said to God, open their eyes. So God did what he said again. God said to me, as we walk through our town and as we live in our town, that we're to rebuke rebuke uh, territorial spirits and strongholds, and that we're to pray and intercede that, that the, the people of God in our community would awaken and be rebirthed to the fact that they are sons of God and walk in that power, that we're to take authority over the weather, that there would be no killer or destroying weather in our community, that the community is alert, and we're alert to activities in the spirit realm that are set on destroying us and our community in the physical realm. And we're to pray for discernment and wisdom <clears throat> for those in authority and leadership. And we're to pray that uh, Christians that have uh, businesses would prosper and that the Holy Spirit would draw prosperous Christian businesses into our community and the prosperity and the property value of our community would go up. And uh, that's it for today. Your word changes and forms your environment. So speak and agree with the words of God and change your community, take authority and dominion and walk in power. My name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and I'm out.